Welcome to day two of making our snails. So today we are going to be painting with tissue paper. So this right here is tissue paper and basically what it is, it's a thin paper, sometimes used for like gifts and stuff, that has dye in it or ink, which is color, okay? So what we're going to do is we are basically going to take the color out of this tissue paper by adding water. And I'll show you what that looks like. So everyone will get a messy mat, which is this plastic sheet right here, your paper back, a plate of tissue paper, a small container of water, and a paintbrush. Okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to take your tissue paper and lay it on your snail to color it. So I would say only do a couple pieces at a time. So you don't have to um, like fill this in perfectly. The fun part of the tissue paper is it's kind of random. So I want you to kind of rip the pieces so that they fit, but don't rip them super teeny tiny. About this size is good. And I'm going to just lay out a couple pieces at a time. Anything more than that will probably like move. So um, this is probably the best way to do it. Then I will dip my paintbrush in a little bit of water, maybe lightly tap it on the side because if I tap, tap, tap really hard, then it, water will go everywhere and we have to practice working neatly, especially because we're not in the art room. Okay, so I dip it in some water. Then I'm going to paint right on top of the tissue paper to get it to stick to the paper. Now we will keep this tissue paper on our snails today. We have to let them dry overnight, okay? So do you see how I'm doing that? I'm kind of holding it with my hand and then I'm painting it so it sticks down. Now I'm not moving it. Once it's down, I want you to try to keep it there. It might move a little bit, that's okay, but try to keep it in place. So notice I'm not adding so, so much water, but I'm adding enough water so that it completely sticks down. So I want you guys to for sure start with the shell of the snail. Do that part first and then go to other areas because that's going to be the most important part. So don't put pieces of tissue paper on top of each other, okay? That won't dry as well. So try to make them side by side. They can overlap a little bit, but there's not really a purpose to putting two on top of each other because it will kind of just cause us some problems. So I'm just using random colors to fill my snail's body, or my snail's shell, actually. So from what you've learned of color mixing, maybe think about, hmm, what colors look nice together if they accidentally overlap in some places. Oops, so I just knocked my water, so be careful with your water. We don't want any messes today. So it doesn't have to be like exactly on this shell, like perfect, however you want to do this. So your hands might get a little messy, which is okay. Art can be messy and that's why we can wash our hands when we're all done. So we don't need to do it during because we'll keep getting them messy again.
So I've got my snail covered. That's your first step. Make sure that your snail is all covered in tissue paper. Then I can move on to the grass and the sky. And we don't have to be realistic with layer it with crayon. You could still have a lot of green, right? So I could draw green grass lines and then use like purple tissue paper and it would still look kind of green. Because remember, the crayon will still show up even though right now we can't see it. When these dry, we'll still be able to see everything we made in crayon. That's why I wanted you to make your crayon nice and bold. But make, see how everything is completely stuck down with the water? That's what we need. So if your tissue paper is not all the way like painted down, we might not get the color that we want. So make sure that you're adding enough water so that your tissue paper is stuck. But also make sure you're not adding too much water so that your paper is like dripping because that will not really help us either. Go ahead and try to fill your whole paper with tissue paper. Now I know it's so tricky, or it's so hard to not get to see what it will look like yet, but if you peel that tissue paper off today, you won't get to see all the color. The color won't actually work unless we let it dry completely overnight with the tissue paper still on. So please do not take off the tissue paper. It needs to stay on here overnight. It's okay if it's coming off of the paper a little bit. Okay, so I think that, well maybe I'll do one more. I think that I am done. So now here's what I need you to do. I need you to put your tissue paper all back onto your plate, unless it's all like crumpled or ruined or anything, that can go in the garbage, okay? I don't want any wet or crumpled tissue paper back, but if your, piece, if your pieces are still nice like this, please just keep them on your plate, okay? If you are able to, please put the cap all the way back on your water like this, okay? Set that off of your messy mat because we'll be taking the messy mat. So put these to the side with your paintbrush to the side. Then I'm going to pick up my messy mat and my snail. See how my snail is still on my messy mat using both hands like this? Two hands. Okay. Then I'm going to walk it to the drying rack. So this is our drying rack right here. Now we will have one class on one half of the drying rack and one class on the other so that we can keep them separate. So one class over here, one class over here. Okay, so I'm going to carefully see how I'm holding the messy mat with two hands, okay? Level like a pizza. I always like to say, let's put the pizza in the oven. So you will put your pizza in the oven, which is the drying rack. So two hands and then I put it on a shelf horizontally, so side to side, okay? So if we go this way, it will fall out, horizontally. And we only want one paper on each wrap. So I hope you guys have so much fun with this activity. I can't wait to see how they turn out. Thanks for watching.